In a scene replicated at centres in Acton, Derby, Wigan and Manchester, a group of keen jumpers donned their special blue socks, made their way onto the trampolines and prepared to bounce their way into the Guinness Book of World Records. Across multiple venues and with a minimum of 50 at each place required to make the attempt legal, all was set for the Southampton team to maintain their end of the bargain. Five, four, three, two, one, start, start, Five minutes of non-stop trampoline action lay ahead. Any concerns of young limbs struggling to keep up were swept aside as all 83 jumpers lasted the course with impressive ease. And when the time was up, a sense of relief and achievement filled the hall. But was it enough? With the other four venues still to confirm success, tension grew. But it was a short-lived concern as confirmation of a new world record came through. We um, heard that the attempt was successful in all of the parts, so congratulations. Chris Welch explained why getting involved in such an attempt was an easy choice to make for Southampton. It's a great opportunity today for us to get as many people involved in trampolining, bouncing, exercising, having fun uh, as possible because today is our first anniversary of opening the doors at our first park in London, at our Acton site. So a great opportunity to promote uh, the activity of trampolining. Um, huge amount of effort gone into it behind the scenes from marketing to find out about the record, find out what's involved. We've had to coordinate it across five sites from as far away as Derby, Wigan, Manchester, Acton in London and down here on the south coast in Southampton. And what about knowing that their name will be held as a record breaker? Yeah, it's very cool, something to be involved with personally as well for myself. Um, I grew up watching record breakers on the television with um, Cheryl Baker and Roy Castle. So to actually be involved in something and to see it all happen and to see it come together and more importantly, to be successful has been really fantastic. Ben Trepas, for that Solent.